Hello and welcome to Who Wants To Be A FIFA Millionaire, the quiz show that can make you, the audience, a FIFA Millionaire in just 15 questions. In the previous episode, we did have Pie Face on. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it now because it was a really good episode. Make sure you watch them all in order as well because I like to reference previous episodes like certain questions or um, mistakes that people have made in the past and uh, cost them those FIFA points. But yeah, shall we find out who today's contestant is? Let's play Who Wants To Be A FIFA Millionaire. Today in the hot seat we have a FIFA YouTuber and streamer from Braintree in England. On FIFA 21, he won a weekend league game with a full team of goalkeepers. It is the one and only Danny Ahrens. Pleasure to be here. I like that introduction. You know, you, when you had like Cap Gun Tom, you said he, he run a marathon or whatever. Uh, I've just won a weekend league game with a goalkeeper. That's my best achievement. But no, great to be here, mate. Hopefully, do some... Do some uh, I'll be good with a thousand FIFA points, to be honest with you. I'll set the bar low. Set your bar high, go for 100,000 and anything less, then you'll take it. I don't think so, mate. I, I really don't think so, but nah, good to be here, mate. Okay, 15 questions, three lifelines are possible, 100,000 FIFA points. Best of luck, Danny. Let's play Who Wants to Be a FIFA Millionaire? Question number one is for 100 FIFA points. Which left back is Nepenthes known for saying in a unique manner? Is it A. Digne? B. Binye, C. Minye, or D. Pinye. Um, I don't think there's much waffling to do here, mate. Uh, I know we're trying to get that video, you know, we're trying to get the mid rolls, but it is a Dinye. final answer, please, mate. He's the Panthers is obviously one of those people in the community that just there's so many memes, like yeah, the, the the Formula One one. That's really good. Have you seen that? That's elite. Yeah, it's elite. Yeah, yeah. it's like 16th. <laughs> That is a lovely clip, and that is the correct answer. You do have 100 FIFA points. Well done, Danny. Thanks very much, mate. Question number two is for 200 FIFA points. Who is the FIFA 21 Team of the Year goalkeeper? Is it A. De Gea, B. Neuer, C. Joe Hart, or D. Kappa? <laughs> Wait, so I, I can say any answer, but if I don't say final answer, it, it won't count, right? Technically correct. You could, you could. So, so it's Joe Hart. <laughs> if if we're if we're talking facts, it's Joe Hart. But I will go with. Is it B Neuer? Um, it is B Neuer. Final answer, please, Neuer. <laughs> that is the correct answer. I thought I thought I, I was gonna put like four like Allison and to Stegen and stuff like that. But then I thought it's pretty obvious anyway. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be Neuer. So let's just. I don't. Have a if bit you put Allison in there, I would have. It would have been a little bit more harder, but nah. slightly longer of a second to wait. Yeah. No, nah, we'll take that. Question number three is for 300 FIFA points. What rating is middle Pavel Nedved on FIFA 21? <laughs> is it A83, B85, C87, or D89? I like this. I like this. Um, honestly, <laughs> I, thought I, was, I, was actually, I thought I was a bit confident when you said it, but now I'm actually... I know it's not 83, 85. I think his base is 86, so if he, like, it's potential that he's 87. I'm not using a lifeline this. I'm like 70% sure it's 89, but science telling me it's 87. Can you remember the video, Danny? Yeah, no, I can, but I'm, I'm trying to picture what. <laughs> so my mum said. <laughs> if you haven't seen the video, by the way, guys, go watch it because it is a brilliant video. There's. Basically, you, you could explain it, Daddy. Yeah, basically, I'd done a base or mid icon. My mum opened it and I looked away. Uh, so she described everything. And I can remember her saying 88 pace. Wait, no, I know what it is. Because I, I kept going, is it 88 or 89 rated? And she kept and she kept going, yes. So it's 89 rated, final answer, please. And that is the correct answer. You do have 300 feet for points. Oh. Might, have to, might have to leave a link to that video down below. Because that is a that, that you, really tickled me, that did. Thanks and very it, much. Especially the... Um, her description of the flag that was also very, yeah. very entertaining. She's not the best, but she tries. So <laughs> she, she, she was pretty close with a guess. So yeah. at the end of the day, you'll take that. Question number four is for five hundred FIFA points. Which FIFA esport player retired most recently? Is it A. Tex, B. Ms. Dasari, C. Harry Hesketh, or D. Huge Gorilla? I, mate, when I heard FIFA esport, I was like, "Yep, yeah, uh, let's get the phone a friend in." But I mean, I think. Can, wait, can you just say uh, C and D again, please, mate? It was Harry Hesketh for C, and D was Huge Gorilla. Right, so it's Harry... I think... I'm, yeah, I think it's Harry Hesketh 
final answer, please. Might, might have got a bit confused between those last two. But you do have the correct answer. <laughs> Mate, you please don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, oh. um, a little bit of backstory. Obviously, EA banned him for an event and he kind of took it to them and retired. And I think he's done the right thing, to be any, to be honest, because the pro the pro events, honestly, I don't watch them myself. Like, I'll like, maybe flick in occasionally, but I, I don't know. We did a question in the last video with Pi, and I didn't know the answer. I had to Google it, but um, yeah. I don't think That's... anybody did, apart from the person that won it, to be honest. But yeah. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. They just make the esports, they're just making it even more boring, basically, by banning people like Kurt and Harry. It's just... I don't know. It's it's boring anyway, but as soon as you ban those people, it just gets even more. Dull. You get banned for having a personality. Yeah, that's 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 EA's policy. But yeah, uh, yeah let's let's go on to the next question. Question number five is for seven hundred and fifty FIFA points. Which was the final FIFA Ultimate Team where fitness cards were required? Was it A FIFA seventeen, B FIFA eighteen, C FIFA nineteen, or D FIFA twenty? I'm mate. I'm scared of how like like when when do they start getting hard? Because I'm fairly sure it's it's FIFA 20. I haven't said final answer yet, but I'm fairly sure it's FIFA 20. No, um, they ha it was in last year and it's not in this year. So mathematically speaking, it's last year. Um, let me just let me just think about this. So it's 80, it's 17, 18, 19, 20, right? Yeah, I've put them right next to each other. It's, it's yeah, really that's complicated. Nice this one. Uh, yeah, I'm. Just I'm just going to say FIFA 20, final answer. And that is the correct answer. You do have 750. Do you, do you think these need to get a little bit harder, Dan? I is think, that, is I that honestly, I think like, it's too I'm, easy for you. I'm, no, I'm not going to complain. You have niced me a little bit. But yeah, I think it's about time we... Uh... Question number six is for 1,000 FIFA points. You get this one correct, you're guaranteed 1,000. You've still got your three lifelines as well, so... I think we're def we're, we're hopefully we'll get this one right with uh, you know a Twitter poll, photo friend, and a 50-50. I think I think you'll get it. Fingers crossed, mate. <laughs> Which English club won the FA Cup in 2020? Is it A Arsenal, B Chelsea, C Manchester United, or D Manchester City? Um, well, I don't want to go in too quickly here, but I'm fairly sure it's Arsenal. No, it was between Arsenal and and Chelsea. Uh, and I remember a Bamiyang score in two, or at least one. I don't know. Is this a trick question? I don't want to overthink this too much. I'm fairly sure. Was it FA? I'm going to... I might be bottling this. Hold on. Let me think about this. I'm fairly sure it's Arsenal. I'm fairly sure. I haven't said the, the, the two words yet, so calm down. Um, it was... Can you say Can you say the options again, please, mate? Yep. Arsenal, Chelsea, Man United and Man City. Right, so it was, it was Arsenal versus Chelsea, or was it City? I, I, mate, I'm going to say Arsenal. Arsenal final answer. Sure, you haven't got confused with another final in that year. No. You had three lifelines as well, Dan. Mate, <laughs> go on. It is the correct answer. You know, <laughs> I don't like points. this, man. I don't like it. Because you, you got to understand. I can't hear the the drum. No. But that, you that can. Comes in after. Oh, okay. You, you got me on ropes here, mate. Good. <laughs> Question number seven is for two thousand FIFA points. Who is the only eighty-nine rated Premier League rare gold player on FIFA twenty-one? Is it A. Allison? B. Sterling, C. Aguero, or D. Kante? Oh. So, right, so Alisson... Oh, wait, no, oh, okay. Alisson's 90, right? Alisson's 90, Sterling's 88, Aguero's 89. Who's the last one? Kante. Kante's 88. I, at first, I thought it was Alisson. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want to... I, I want to save these lifelines, mate. Alisson... I thought at first Alisson was 89, but now you said Aguero, and I think Aguero's 89. Hmm. Hmm. I might have, mate, if I get 50-50 and it's Aguero and Alisson, I'm, I'm leaving the show. Um, I'm not asking for it yet. Take time. I, I, mate, trust me, you're going to have to edit about 10 minutes of this out. Aguero... 
hasn't the thing is they've not got a special I know it's not Sterling or um whoever the last geezer is. Um Someone's telling me Allison's nine he has to be ninety at least, no? I just don't know if Aguero... I think Aguero... There's a slight suspicion that Aguero's 88. And I don't want to bottle it here. It makes sense for Alisson to be 90. Sure, like... Ah, oh, Danny. Mate. Oh, I don't want to use a 50-50 here. Um, do I just full send Aguero? I, it's definitely between them two. Uh, there's no doubt about it. I just think uh, Allison has to be 90, so I'm going to say... I'm going to say Aguero, final answer, mate. You have three lifelines, Danny. Don't do it, mate. Just tell me, please. <laughs> Luckily, you didn't need to use them because you do have the correct answer. Come on! Aguero. You Woo! still... Oh, did I? He was... I think if I put a bit more pressure on there, you might have gone for Allison or gone for a lifeline. But uh... yeah, I was very close to 50 50. Oh. <laughs> Question number eight is for 3,000 FIFA points. At which club did Javinho, Dumbia, and Ababo play at on FIFA 15? Was it A, AC Milan, B, Roma, C, Cagliari, or D, Udinese? I, again, I don't know if I'm much just overthinking this. I'm fairly sure it's just Roma. Um, I know it's a Serie A club, and what? what they, well, they were all full of them are Serie A clubs. So oh, really <laughs> well, I'm not wrong then. Um, <laughs> I'm fairly sure it's Roma. I don't want to overthink this too much, so I'm just going to say B, Roma. Final answer, mate. Just before we did this question, Danny said that he didn't really play FIFA before FIFA 19, and this was a FIFA 15 question. Somehow he's got the correct answer. It is Roma. Well done, Daddy. Well, you, ain't, you ain't got to play a lot of feet, mate. That you, that you can see a tweet today about someone tweeting that out. I think, but like, yeah, as we get further into the retro ones, I'm, I'm mudded. But I'll take that. Question number nine is for 4,000 FIFA points. On FIFA 15, Mario Lamina changed nationality to Gabon. But what nation did he represent before? Is it A, Austria? B, France, C, Spain, or D, Italy? <sighs> Is this a question Mr. Capgun Tom will know? I, I just don't... Uh, um, so I'm going to be absolutely transparent. I've got quite literally zero idea. Um... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to phone a friend, please, mate. I don't know if this is the right decision, but yeah. Right, so Danny's out to use his photo friend, and we've got a... Um, somebody's actually got the photo friend correct in the past. It is Capgun Tom. Welcome welcome back, Tom. Hello, I'm back again. Apparently, people are starting to think that you're the Chris Tarrant of this series, and I'm the Jeremy Clarkson, because I'll be taking over from you soon. Brilliant. Can't wait for that. <laughs> and then they can ask the fat man. I love it. Can't wait. Hmm. <laughs> Danny's, Danny's stuck on question nine here for 4,000 FIFA points, and he thinks you know the right answer. So I don't. I'm going to hand I... over to Danny. And... <laughs> That's a good vote of confidence, Danny. Well, no, Chris, oh, right. I don't think you know the right answer, but I've called you anyway. I, it's a, I, I said it because it's an old FIFA question, but it's not really an old FIFA question. Basically, right, let me stop waffling. On okay, FIFA 15, hmm. Mario Lamina changed nationality to Gabon, but what nation did he represent before? Oh, a I was hoping you were going to say, what's he changed to? No, mate, I, I, oh, I hope no, that's wrong, no, no, that. <laughs> um, Is it A, Austria, B, France, C, Spain, or D, Italy? Right, if I was going to straight up guess, I'd say France, because that's what all the French players do. They always go from French to whatever the nation they usually are, I think. Um, it's happened a lot. Like, there's that Morel guy who's a centre-back who was, like, French, and then he changed to Madagascar, I think. If only that was the question, that would be much more. Right, so, so is this a this is a this is a guess. guess. I was thinking France before you even started reading out the answers. What was okay. the first one? Because it's Austria. It's, okay, I doubt it's Austria. I doubt it was Italy and Spain, wasn't it? Uh, yes, yeah, Spain, Italy. I I think I'll back that. I think France I, makes I, sense. I I would if I was if I was gonna like ascend it. 
I would I would go France, but I'm not 100%. I don't actually know the answer, but that's just logic saying that that's what it yeah. would be because I can just think of so many examples for where French people have turned like like to African nations like Harit who went Moroccan as well. So there's loads of them that have done it. Right. I but Pingu I'll back it. Uh oh Tom, God, if you mad at me here, right. B France final oh answer. God. <laughs> Mario Lamina ends in an A, just like Dav David Alaba. Oh no. But it's not Austria. Oh, thank God. Why you gotta do this, man? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that piece of logic? <laughs> oh, yeah, they, and then they it it, it might have been, I was like, oh. <laughs> I don't know why. That's why I put it in, because it was like they both end in A. Let's say they go from Austria. He also played for Juventus for a, a number of years in Italy. So is he Italian? Would you tell me, mate? I don't know. <laughs> He's not Italian. And the correct answer is Spain. Oh my god, what? Spain? Nah, that's a lie. I'm checking hang this on, now. Hang on. <laughs> I'm going to check this now. Have I got these now. mixed up? Have I got these mixed up? Well, well There's well. no way it's Spain. There's no it, way. It, it, I'm sure it's Spain. Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> He's actually French. <laughs> It. Mate, my heart. He is actually French. <laughs> Mate, no, I don't, you're keeping us in the video. I don't care. You're not editing no, this No, I've one just out. gone to Footwiz. I've checked his generations. FIFA 15 items. Played for Marseille and, Ju Marseille and Juventus, and he was French at both of those so what, clubs. So basically, what I've done is I've mixed up the B and the C <laughs> because they're next to each other. No, you done it on purpose, right? Just to. No, honestly, I didn't even do it on purpose. <laughs> Professional outfit you've got going on here, mate. <laughs> that is the first time I've... I think that's the first... Actually, I made a mistake in the last episode um, with Pi. I said that Al Sad was a Saudi league team, but it was actually in the Qatari league. Oh, yeah. So Don't, back, let's not talk about back. your fastest finger first on your... Um... Yeah, let's not talk about that on Twitch. <laughs> on your streams, my God. <laughs> that's that's well well produced. Um, but yeah, well done, Danny. You got the correct answer mate, in the end this of Tom's is, this is too much for me, man. <laughs> Uh, Thank you very I'm much, gonna Tom. I'm going to disappear. Good luck, guys. Or good Thank luck, you very Danny. much, mate. Question number 10 is for 5,000 FIFA points. On FIFA 18, Gareth Bale received a foot birthday promo card. But what position was the card? Was it A, striker, B, cam, C, left wing, or D, left back? This is obviously, obviously, right. So I know he's had a left back card, but like the thing, Gareth Bale gets a foot birthday every year. So FIFA 18, I'm fairly sure the FIFA 19 was a striker. Um, he, he he he's had one for like three years running. Ah, uh, what is it? Strike right? It's definitely not left wing. It's between striker and left back. What was the what was the what was a cam? Right, so I don't think it was Cam. So it's between striker and left back. I know he's had, but he's had one. He's had a striker that was 93 rated, and that had a. It was a, a pink. Oh, they're all pink, Danny. Um, well, no, actually, they're not. So like the FIFA 19 one, was it FIFA 20? Was a striker 93 rated, and his dynamic was that little love heart. Um, FIFA 18, we're, we're talking about though, right? Yeah. I'm trying to think of the card design. I'm fairly sure the card design was like was blue, like sight, like blue white. I'm fairly sure he was a left back. But I feel like I'm at this stage now where I've kind of got to use lifelines. How confident are you with your answer? What percentage? I'd say I'm 65% sure it's it's uh, left back. That's. But that's not that's you know there's fine margins there. I don't think this is one of the audience. Like, I don't want to ask the audience on a on a retro FIFA question. No offense, lads. I'm uh, I'm gonna. I feel like this is a trick question, so I'm gonna go with a 50-50, please, mate. So Danny's used his 50-50, and the two remaining answers are striker and left back. I should have said it out loud. This is so <laughs> weird, man. Like no, no, no. Honestly, I've done it every episode. What you watch them all? Watch the previous five episodes. I do it the same on everyone. I used a random letter generator, and the past five episodes, it's been wonderful for everyone. But this is the yeah, first yeah. I know. Time I, I've seen it, mate. 
This is muddied you. I can use another lifeline, right? But I don't know if I want to. Um, I'm just trying to. I'm fairly sure that the 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 card design was just like white and blue. The FIFA the the striker one was pink, right? And I don't know if I'm making sense here. I'm just waffling. I'm gonna have to back. The, the left back, if you pardon the pun. Uh, oh, don't want to use another life. Can you? Are you like an advisor as well? Can you like give me advice? Like, should I use another lifeline? Well, I'd, I'd, you, you can be brave or you cannot be brave. That's that's your choice. My, my only other lifeline is ask the audience, right? Mm. And they might be in the same kind of situation. Yeah, that's what that's where... what that's what I'm thinking. I, I'm I'm just gonna go. What, what? Wait, hold on. This is this is this is a strategy. Where where is what what, what like letters are left? Do you know, do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, is it A, B, C, or D? What ones are left? What letter? It's A and D. A and D. And striker is A. Yep. Left back. I'll D. go D. Final answer. <laughs> I don't know why I've done that. Where's the logic in that? Because it's Danny. You've gone D. Is that your logic? It, left back, right? Yeah. Left back's D. Yeah, I'll back it. Yeah. Final so answer, why, please, why, why was the A and the D relevant? What was? The I, I don't that? know. To be honest, mate, I just kind of needed an excuse. If I get it wrong, it's right. is that's the logic. You still had your rest of the audience. They could have given you a little bit more information on this one. But you do have the correct answer. It is left back. Well done. And there is five thousand. Oh, I feel like points. I didn't have to. <sighs> okay. No, I'm happy with that. I feel like I I could have got away with no lifeline there. But the fifty-fifty might have been more. Favorable, like it could have been. It would have, he didn't rig it, but yeah. Here was your next question for 6,000 FIFA points. You get this one correct, you're one away from the 12k. Which of the following icons played for the most clubs during their career? So we're looking for play. I've basically done it, I've not done it on loans and permanents, I've done it on just permanents, like different clubs basically. Is it A, Sol Campbell, B, Didier Drogba? C, Patrick Clivert, or D, Samuel Eto'o? Ooh. <sighs> um, A was... Big Sol Campbell. So I don't think he moves around a lot. I think he had a, you know, we're, when we're relatively speaking, I think he's quite... I'm, I'm not going to say loyal. Um... So I'm gonna rule well, out Sol. Why was he not loyal, Danny? Uh, on, not no, loyal? Let me just hide the, the Tottenham shirts. Um, <laughs> B. So it's between. I don't know if I'm counting Cl like if I'm counting Cliver out. Maybe I'm being stupid, but I'm fairly sure it's between Didier Drogba and Samuel Eto'o. Both moved around quite a bit. I'm leaning towards Eto. I can't. I, the logical thing would to to list them all off, but I'll be honest. My football knowledge is at least in the past. It's not there. So I, I know Eto, uh, Chelsea, Inter. Um, I know he went to Saudi club or something like that. So, uh, Drogba, obviously Chelsea, MLS, um, the Turkish league. Ah, oh, mate, mate, mate. So we're not counting loans. Well, so basically the way I've done it is if they've gone on loan there and then it's become a permanent, I've counted yeah. that as one club. I feel the thing is, does will my audience know this? I'll be absolutely transparent with you. I don't have a lot of faith in my audience. So I'll say it straight up. Um, I feel like this is way too broad to me to just straight up guess. And we're we're close to 12k. But the thing is, that 12k, like it's going to be hard, obviously. And I'm not going to have a lifeline if I use it here. Oh, mate. I think I'm going to have to ask the audience, mate. And just uh, just hope uh, the next question isn't bad. What, what's the next question? <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask the audience, please, mate. So we do have the Twitter poll back, and the results are... A was Saul Campbell with 10.2%. Didier Drogba with 13.1%. Patrick Clivert with 13.3% and Samuel Eto with 63.3%. So I think that's a clear, you know, you've, you've got very lucky. Your viewers oh. haven't muddied you there. 
Well, no, but the thing, right? So, because I was saying that I was you, leaning towards. You slated Eto. them earlier, Danny. You were, you were saying that these. No, people no, no. Like sorry, can't trust I, them. no. I'm sorry, lads. I'll back you, but <laughs> I'm disappointed in myself because it was. I feel like if that many people got it, then it was quite obvious, and I feel like I'm quite stupid. But I'd rather be safe than sorry, so I'll back the audience and I'll say D Samuel Eto. Final answer, please. Samuel Eto did play for a lot of clubs. But you seem to... I don't know if people have remembered Patrick Clivert's career. That's something that, because of, you know, us having a young audience, they might not remember. Clivert paid, played for eight clubs. How many do you think Eto played for, more or less? Mate, I get Eto's played... For, the, 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 there was never a doubt that Eto played for a lot of clubs. It's just that, that stupid, or if he went on loan... I don't know if they were if they were loaned. I mate, I could count I couldn't count on ten fingers how many clubs Eto was with, but how many was he there permanently? I, obviously, he, he's been to more clubs than than, than eight, hundred percent, mate. And there's the correct answer. You do have six thousand feet points. Well done. <laughs> but now I've got no more lifelines. So no. Here's your question for 12,000 FIFA points. You get this one correct, you're guaranteed 12,000, but you don't have any lifelines left, so you might have to consider to take the 6,000, but it uh, depends if you've got the minerals or not. Here is your question. Who has received the Premier League Player of the Month award on FIFA the most? Is it A, Youngman Sutton, D, Harry Kane, uh, B, Harry Kane, sorry, don't know where I got D from. Let me do the answers again. <laughs> Is it A. Hung Rid Son, B. Harry Kane, C. Bruno Fernandes, or D. Mohamed Salah? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, mate. So, obviously. Alright, so Son, like, let's think about this logically. Son probably got. Son had two. Uh, in FIFA, whatever. I think Son had three overall. Kane, oh my life. Uh, Kane is... What a player Kane is, mate. Um, he probably... He's probably up there with like four. Potential... Oh, mate. This is, see, this would be a beautiful one to toy out for a lifeline. Not playing Samuel Eto'o. Um, Bruno Fernandes has, has about 17 this year. Uh, and Salah... Blah, life he had about nine. Oh mate this would be a superb one for a lifeline but got none left I've got I've got nothing left um I think I'm gonna rule out son and then it's a it's a toss up between three which is not great <laughs> I don't know if I send this or I just play safe and take six eight I think that's taking six K is very boring but then also only having a thousand fever points is is quite it's even more bad. Boring. Yeah, um, I feel like Bruno is there just to throw me off. I know he's had a lot. Um, I think he's had four. Is it? Is it? No, no wait. Is it, is it just on FIFA, right? Just on FIFA Ultimate Team. So they've had to have a you know one of those cards. Right. So Bruno's got two. He's got. So his latest one is 92 rated. His base card's 87. Yeah. This is this is all the ultimate teams, by the way. So we're talking. Yeah, but like... he's he's been in prem for one one season, though. No. Yeah, that that's that's up to you to decide. No, no, of course he has. Right, yeah. Stop, stop throwing me off. Right, so he's 87. He's had two informs. It's 89. He's had. Ooh, has he had three player months? Um, he's had. He's definitely got one. That's a ninety-two, and he's definitely had two. That's a ninety-one. Oh, and he had a team in a group stage or whatever. So he's had two played months all all together. But now, right. So that's that's him ruled out because I think Salah, Salah had two at least in FIFA eighteen. Ah, oh, me. This would have been a, such a nice fifty-fifty as well. It's between Kane and Salah. Salah used to get it a lot. Uh, likewise with Kane. Oh, I want to send it. Um, oh, audience, I'm so I'm so sorry if I get this wrong. Harry Kane, final answer. Back the boy. Back the boy. You had no lifelines left, Danny. I know, mate. <laughs>
Bruno Fernandes signed last season, didn't he? In January. So he's had two this FIFA. But did he get one or two? Well, hopefully he got... Well, how many do you think Kane got? Mate, a lot. Um, oh, Give us a number. I remember him getting like three in one year, I think. So that's why I've kind of gone with Kane. I think he's got to be at least at least five. Oh, I might have messed this up, actually. Bruno Fernandes obviously signed last January. So he's not been in the Premier League that long. But we're looking for P Premier League Player of the Month on FIFA. And you've gone for Kane. He's been a br brilliant player over the years. But the correct answer is Bruno Fernandes. He has had four. Kane's only had three. And uh, I don't know. You, you, you kind of ruled him out straight away. You went, no, not Bruno. Because he's had two this FIFA and two last FIFA. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You've you've slightly budded yourself there by, I don't know, just not really. Because you, you think how good Man United were when Bruno signed last season. Well, you know, I know he's it. a I, I know he's a player, mate. But I ah. Oh. Man Dis United fans aren't going to be happy. With you. Disappointment. <laughs> you went for your boy, and it backfired. Luckily, we do carry on with the quiz. So let's let's see how many you do get of the remaining questions and uh, yeah let's get on to the next one here's your next question then in FIFA 17 which special card did Musa So get that was extinct for the majority of the game bit of a I don't know he was, he was extinct for a large portion anyway um, was it A Inform B International Man of the Match C Movember or D Hero <laughs> I've got no idea um, I don't even know who you're talking about um, so like, there's no pressure, right? I can just no pressure. You right. can swing and do um, whatever you want now. The only the only one that kind of makes I mean I don't know. I don't think it'll be an inform, right? Because it's quite easy to pack them. Maybe so, I don't know. I think like wait, what FIFA was it? FIFA 15, 17, 17. I'm just gonna say, like there's no pressure, so I'm just gonna say uh, international man of the match. Final answer. And that is the correct answer. Oh, oh, but Danny. Oh, whatever. but if it, yeah, I wouldn't have had the minerals to do that. You would, yeah, you wouldn't have just yeah. swung in. Which of the following Englishmen have not had a silver card on any Ultimate Team? Is it A. Sterling, B. Barkley, C. Rashford, or D. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain? Um, did it's been not a, a bit have of a, a retro silver. one. Yeah, we're looking yeah, for the one so that's I've not got, had a silver. I don't know like old FIFA's, especially ratings. Um. Oxley Chamberlain probably had one. I don't know why that's the only one that's sticking out to me is Sterling. I feel like he probably had a he was bronze and had a broke out like a breakout season at Liverpool and then I don't know actually. Who was a who was B and C? Barkley. Good old Ross from Aston Villa now. And uh, Marcus Rashford. M B E. Again it could so I think Barkley probably had one. So it's between Rashford and Sterling. Uh can't picture a Sterling or Rashford silver card. Well, one of them's had it. So. I know, but I can't picture it, mate. Uh, again, I'm just going to just pick one. I'll say Sterling. Final answer, mate. And it was Marcus Rashford. He went, he went from... He started the game on a gold card. He literally went straight into Fair it. play. Because, obviously, I think it was an FA Cup game in, like, January... Basically, before FIFA. Um, before that FIFA started. And, obviously, they didn't have him in the game. And then when they put him in, bang, straight away, 76 rated gold. Yeah, makes sense. I'm just, yeah. yeah. No worries. We did. I think I did mention this in a few episodes ago, Danny. So, you know, if you were listening. I'm sorry, mate. I'm, <laughs> I just got the answer. <laughs> <sighs> I do waffle a lot, though. That is very true. Here's your question for 100,000 FIFA points. But you did fail quite a long ago. So, I did, mate. anyway. Patrick Vieira was capped over 100 times for France. But in which country was he born in? Is it A, Ivory Coast, B, Mali, C, Sierra Leone, or D, Senegal? Oh, that's it's Senegal. Final answer. Look, that, that, that was easy, Danny. Well done, you got 100,000. <laughs> Only if you got to... Uh, no, uh, you know about Bruno. Sorry, no, it's fine. Yeah, absolute pleasure. <laughs> where, where did you get that Senegal straight away no, bang? That's, that's easy, mate. That's common. That's is pop that, quiz is that common? knowledge, that, mate. <laughs> is that... Mate, I you got to work on these 100k, mate. That that Sterling one should have been 100. 
I don't know because if if you knew if you're if you're on FIFA and you know, yeah, it's very I don't know, true. The yeah. football ones are slightly more. But yeah, enjoyed having you today, Danny. Hey, it's been a pleasure, mate. I'm sorry that I couldn't bring home you know the big FIFA points, the bacon. but I've I've saved Pingu some money, so win win, win win. <laughs> don't know if that's a win for the audience, but uh, we enjoy the content anyway, and uh, that's the main reason of these videos and. Uh, yeah, if you haven't checked out Danny's channel, make sure you do that already. Obviously, brilliant uh, Nedved video you have to go check out where his mum describes it. And uh, what what weekend league challenge did you recently bring out? Uh, on a full bronze team, mate. Full bronze team. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. I, I was, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Leave a like if you did and see you soon. Bye. Peace.